Hey everybody, Goldie here with another video. This is um, a little different, it's not a character preview video, but it is a community resource video. Um, it's something that I've been working on for a bit. Uh, lately, there's been a lot of talk about stipulation tours, especially now that people are starting to actually invest in promoters. And that now that they've changed the amount of matches from five to three. So I figured now would be a good time to clean up this spreadsheet that I've been working on and release it into the wild. So this video is going to be talking about my Color Clash stipulation tour guide. Um, there will be a link in the description of this video to the spreadsheet. It is view only, but you can click on that and you can scroll through the sheet yourself. Um, this video is basically just going to be explaining how it's set up, the legend, and how it works. Um, keep in mind that the list kind of outdates itself every time there is a new character released. I do my best to add them, you know, about a couple days after the character is live in game. So that I have a chance to see the gameplay and look at all the possible builds. Um, so keep that in mind. Also, there's a lot of information on here and I'm just one woman. So I'm bound to have missed some things. So if the person you enjoy using for a certain color day is not on here, or if I have a build a little bit backwards, uh, please do not hesitate to let me know in the comments of this video. Um, it is a community resource and therefore it is a community effort and I'm open to all kinds of collaborations on this sheet. So without further ado, let's take a peek at what we've got here. We've got them organized by the six colors. Superstar, self-explanatory. Uh, some people I've listed with the gear because the gear generates an extra gem of that color. Um, I do have them color coordinated. So this is not the uh, Showboat Dolph, this is the Acro. This is the original Showboat John Cena. Uh, the Mutant would have an M in front of it. A Zombie would have a Z in front of it. Um, Trickster Kane, that's the original, not Icons of WrestleMania. I'll be figuring out how to categorize all that stuff later on. Type is for the type of move that generates the gem. So the R would be uh, a move that generates a random number of gems. Um, no, not random number, but like they're, they're put randomly on the board. Um, an A would be an area move, and that's either a random area or choose area. And a C would be a choose move. MP coordinates with um, the specific move that generates the color you're looking for. Some people have, for example, Killian Dane. Um, he makes red gems with both of his yellow moves. So the yellow one is 9 MP and the yellow two is 8 MP. So if there is, a, if there is um, more than one move that generates, I have them listed respectively. The four star, uh, three star, and then uh, there's also five star. That is um, at what rarity this build can be used. Um, so some builds will unlock, um, some characters will have a more ideal build unlocked at five star. I tried to keep it to three star um, because this guide is for, you know, players of all abilities. So people that are just starting out, people like me who have been playing since beta and everybody in between. The moveset, I want to be very clear about this. This is not a moveset, um, this is not like the ideal top tier, this is what makes the character great moveset. It's not for feuds, it's not for showdown, it's not for blitz, it's not for tours. These movesets I've put together are specifically 
four stipulation tours. So the moves either generate the gem themselves or they help recycle the move that does. Trainers, for the most part, are um, an MP trainer, sometimes double depending on the move type, and then the trainer that generates said gem. In some instances, for example, Keith Lee, who generates his uh, red gems by countdown gems, instead of using Big John Stud, I'm using Acro Jimmy Uso and Texina because they generate, um, because they are the ones that generate countdown gems. Uh, for Sika, um, I'm using both Big John Stud and either Rusev or Showboat JBL because you need the blast gems to turn into red gems. Walter is another example. I'll click over there. Um, I have Showboat Kofi for an MP trainer, and then I have Jinder because he generates the trap gems, and the trap gems breaking is what generates the red gems. So in the notes section, I've tried to kind of clarify what the trainers are used for and why. Uh, coaches are usually an MP coach and the Hall of Fame coach that generates an extra gem. And then the notes are, again, if you're turning one type of gem into the color, if you're using countdown gems, if your submission move um, is like Lashley or Taxina that turns into reds or greens or whatever. Um, if you're making silence gems to turn into red gems, uh, look at Tech Drew. Um, he generates his blue gems with snowfall gems. So I've kind of clarified there um, what it's for. Also some characters like uh, Acro Macho Man, um, Zombie Triple H, I think Masters of the Universe Macho Man as well. Yeah, so they have moves that don't move the pin bar. Um, so that's been, that's been noted as well because they are the ones that are usually the go-tos if you are chasing leaderboards. Uh, some people like Neville. Yes, Neville is on here for uh, those of us that have him and for those of us who don't have better. Um, if you use Neville for Blue Day, I've specified that he generates blue gems, but he needs greens on the board to turn into blue. Um, our truth is the snowfalls are the ones that create purple. Some people have two builds like Acro Shelton at four star. You could do double red, black one at five star. You could do double red, blue three. So I've tried to keep the notes simple, but explanatory. Um, I've also included plates um, near the top of the color or near the top of the chart where it says the color. I've put the plate that generates said color. Um, so for red, Viper Strike, for blue, Kids Lightning, for yellow, Shock the System and Superior Tech, for black, DX Army Assault, for purple, Twilight Ritual, and for green, the Sean's Showstopper. And as plates get introduced, I will be updating the list accordingly. Um, I also want to note that I've got female and male even though um, as of late, the tours haven't been female tours, um, but I've still got them here just in case they decide to change back. And also as of late, it seems as though the gem destroy has been providing more points. So I'm just showing that I don't have anything for that yet because I literally added it to the spreadsheet today and I will be looking at compiling that information going forward and then I would just leave it here in a separate tab. So when you click on the spreadsheet to view it, you would be able to access it. Uh, the same will go for Move Mayhem if they ever bring it back. And the, um, the marquee tours, um, when they have more than just the two classes that they run right now, I'll add a spreadsheet tab for each of those. And again, if I miss stuff, please don't hesitate to let me know. Um, I think that is just about everything. Um, with Sako and Otis, like you'll notice some of these are blank. Mr. Sako has a one MP choose area move. So you don't, you don't really have 
an MP trainer or a gem generation trainer to use. Same with Otis. It's an area of yellow gems. It's 2 MP. You really don't need an MP trainer. Um, so I've left those blank just because there isn't anything that benefits it. Again, these builds are strictly for stipulation tours. They're not like ideal feuding builds or what have you. And then at the bottom here, I've got the universal trainers and coaches listed. So NWO Macho is a 9K trainer that creates two more gems of any color. Powerhouse Hogan is a 9K coach that creates one more gem of any color. NWO Hogan um, is a 9K coach that is an extra MP charge coach. And then NWO Perfect, the showboat from League Loot, the uh, gold League Loot, uh, gives two starting MP for any color at, as a 9K trainer. So those could be people that you tack on if, for example, you don't um, have Razor because they've made him very hard to get. And if you don't subscribe to uh, VIP, the, Kings of, the King of Kings pass, um, you could, if you happen to have NWO Macho or Powerhouse Hogan, you could slot those in. Um, in place of or on top of um, like Kofi it's a 1 MP generate so if you don't have Razor you could use King of Kings and another gem chucker so I think that's everything for the sheet again um, I will be linking this in the description of the video um, everybody should be able to view it if you have problems viewing it, please let me know in the comments. I can fix whatever needs to be fixed. If you notice that something is off or you'd like to make a suggestion, by all means, please let me know in the comments. I'm more than willing to have discussions with people um, about this. Again, community resource means community effort. I'm all about collaboration. Um, and yes, stay tuned for, I'll update the gem destroy. I'll add the move mayhem, hopefully and hopefully I'll add the marquee tours as well. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it was insightful and I hope you get some use out of the spreadsheet. Be sure to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe so you're notified when my next video comes out. Thank you again for watching and take care.